Hi, this is Jim Mann with Homestyle Southern Cooking. Welcome back. It's good to see you again. Tonight we're going to make uh, a winter version of strawberry shortcake. So let's get started. I'm going to use just a regular white cake mix. This is like 15.25 ounces. So any, any white cake mix. I'm going to pour that into my stand mixer here. You don't have to use a stand mixer. You can use a hand mixer if you have it. And put that in there. And to that, I've got, since we're having strawberry shortcake, uh, we're actually using strawberry pie filling. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to dump that right into my mixture of the white cake mix. I love strawberry shortcake in the summertime when strawberries in season. But a lot of times it's hard to find strawberries when they're not in the season. So um, this is a nice fall or wintertime treat that you can enjoy anytime. Okay. To that, I'm going to add one-fourth a cup of milk. To that, I'm going to add one tablespoon of vanilla. And then I've got two eggs that I'm going to use at room temperature. That's one. Two. Okay. And I'm going to put this on stir to start off. And let's get stirring. Oh my goodness, you should smell this. Oh. With the vanilla cake mix and the strawberries by itself is fantastic. I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna Take this and I'm just going to go around the sides and make sure that I've got all of it off the sides here. Okay. And we'll go around one more time. Oh, like I said, I wish you could smell this. The smell of the strawberries and vanilla is wonderful. Okay. Now that we've got that, Try to get most of this off my blade that I can. Okay. I'll take my dish. Now what I've got is I've got a, it's like a nine by 13, but I, it's, it's an oval, oval dish that I use. And I'm gonna spray it. Tonight I'm gonna spray it with a, the baking uh, with the baking powder in there with the, with the flour. You can use just regular Pam spray also. I use both. Okay. And then I'm going to actually pour my batter in there. Look at that. Look how fluffy. I got a little bit on the bottom. I didn't get there. Look how fluffy this batter is coming out of here. And it smells absolutely divine. Okay. Now we'll take this and sort of spread this out of my pan. What I'm going to cook this on, I've got the oven set at 350. And we'll cook this somewhere between 24 and 28 minutes. And, you know, if you have a cake tester to test it to see if it's done in the middle, if you don't have a cake tester, then just use a toothpick uh, to see if it's done. But I figured about 
about anywhere from 24 to 28 minutes to 350. It should be ready. And then I'm going to let it cool a little bit. And then I'll be back to show you what our next step is going to be. We're going to make an unbelievable icing for this. That's our next step. I'll see you in a few minutes. Welcome back. Our cake is out of the oven and has cooled down. And now I'm going to move over to the oven and show you our second step. I've got a small saucepan that I'm going to put on a medium heat. I've got five tablespoons of room temperature butter. The reason why I use room temperature butter because it melts much quicker. I've got a cup of sugar. I'm going to pour that in there. And then I've got one third a cup of milk. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stir this around really good until it's all mixed and it comes to a little bubble. I want to make sure that, that all the sugar is completely melted and incorporated all with the butter and everything. So I'm just going to keep on stirring this until it comes to a light bubble. Okay, it's bubbling now in the middle and you have to keep on stirring this be careful when you're stirring this that it doesn't pop out on you because it will burn you. All right, in the meantime, I'm, I've got some white chocolate chips here. I'm going to take one cup of white chocolate chips. A white chips, not chocolate chips. I'm going to pour that into my mixture, turn my oven off, and just mix these until this is melted. As you can see, it just jumped out the pan. Um, just keep moving around until this hot sugar and butter has melted all the chocolate. And like I said, you want to do it very carefully because that butter will pop out of there and it will burn you. All right, I turned my unit back on a little bit to let it come to a, just a slight bubble. And as you can see, it's all incorporated. It's very, very creamy. And it smells incredible. And it's thickened up just a little bit by turning it back on a little bit. So now I'm going to take it and I'm going to move right over to my cake. And I'm going to actually pour this on my cake. And if you have a few hunks that, that didn't melt, that's no problem. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to let this set uh, for about five minutes until this sets up, and I'll be back with the final step. Okay, welcome back. As you see, our, our icing is set up on the top, and it's all along the bottom along the cake. So our very last step is I open another can of strawberries, and I'm just going to start putting it in the middle. Get it all out, and then I'm just going to spread it out a little bit. Oh, this smells absolutely divine. I wish you could smell it. But this is our wintertime version of a strawberry shortcake. And Look at all those beautiful strawberries. It smells great. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this back in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes and let it harden up just a little bit. Then we'll come back and cut it. Our strawberry shortcake was in the refrigerator for about maybe 10 minutes. So I'm going to cut a little piece right along the edge right here. And we're going to take it out. hopefully, and put it here on our plate. Look, isn't that beautiful? You've got the, the icing and the strawberries. Strawberry shortcake. But what is strawberry shortcake without just a tad of whipped cream on top? 
So there we go. That is your strawberry shortcake. Let's give it a taste and see what it tastes like. Great dessert. Wow, really sweet, really fantastic. Hope you'll give us a try. Let me sure you think about it. Thank you so much for following me on Facebook and on uh, YouTube. Take care of yourselves. Know that I think about you. I, I'm so happy when my family, you and my family, welcome me back into your house every day, and I appreciate it. Keep on watching and like and subscribe to me. I'm going to be bringing you many, many, many different things over the next couple of weeks. So thank you so much for everything that you do. You're in my thoughts and your prayers. Until next time, this is Jim saying, God bless.